been a hot minute since I properly documented a training session on this channel. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. I'm taking you with me for my tempo session, partly on the track, partly on the road, and through the rest of the day as well. I might even take you with me for the date night that me and Daniel have got planned at the end of it all. Stay tuned to find out. Let's do it. You okay? Yeah, baby. What does that mean? It means that I'm a pro. Pro at what? <laughs> Recovering. This is my new watch, and it has HRV on it, which is heart rate variability, which means in the morning, you put it on, and it uh, gives you a score based on your heart rate variability. And the higher the score, the better it is, and like the more ready you are for heart training. You got 81 out of 100, which is ready for peak performance. And I have started to see trends actually, that the day after harder training is lower, so. <laughs> Old lady foot solution. I've been instructed to take a course of ibuprofen for 72 hours. Because who knew taking it once every three or four days when the toe starts hurting again is a little bit like sprinkling water on a fire. Whereas if you <coughs> jet hose the fire, then it might not come back. So ibuprofen for the next three days so the grandma toe goes away. Have you told the guys what grandma toe is? My big toe on my left foot, where I've got a little bit of arthritis. Arthritis. I'm 28. So it's quite sad, really. This is the best summer cereal there is. Blueberry wheats in the summer, porridge in the spring, autumn, and winter. So whilst I finish my delicious blueberry wheats, I'm gonna tell you about the session I've got this morning. Huh? Hmm? 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 Well, let's just have a wee look, shall we? She's got a 20 minute warm up, and then it's a two, two, one mile, and a 20 minute cool down. What is two, two, one mile? It's cryptic coaching this morning from Helen. Ah, two mile tempo, two minute rest. Two mile tempo, two minute rest. One mile, a little bit faster tempo. Okay. It's be a fun one to do on the track. Could do on the road. Could do on the road. Can't decide whether it'd be better to switch off and just do laps of the track for this. Could do it in lane eight, did that last week. Or go around the park. The downside to that is I have to dog dodge and potentially dog hurdle. Wait and see. See what the vibe is, I guess. See what the vibe is. Vibe check. I need to wolf the cereal down because we're gonna leave in 25 minutes. I'm not a performing monkey, Daniel. Wear your sunscreen, even when it's cloudy. Did you hear me? Magnifico! Oh, 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 oh. Mmm, smells nice. Are we late? Yeah, no. We've got 45 seconds to leave this building. Did you um, think that we were meeting at 9.30, but we're actually meeting at 9 this morning, by any chance? Typical, or is this a... Uh, no, this is, you know, a rare occasion where I'm slightly less organized than normal. Like, most of the time, I leave, you know, I'm there 20 minutes early, but um, today, yeah. Today is a bit of a mad rush. What are you doing? Insoles? Yes. Why? Put, put them in the shoes, because the other ones I had in the, the last couple of days were giving me a blister on one foot. Oh, these don't want to go in. I do not have time for this. Please, please, just go right to the end of the shoe. Why are you trying the mores? You don't normally wear 1080s. Because of the grand motto. And advice from my physio is that I need a shoe with, with a rocker. This shoe's gonna fix all my problems. Stretching out that grandma toe, getting some activations and drills in after a good 20 minute warm up, making sure that the legs are primed and ready to run a little bit faster. Also did two 
200 meter activator strides, getting the legs moving quite a bit faster than they'll need to in the tempo itself. And then for the session, I started off on the track doing nearly a full lap before then venturing out onto the park, doing a lap of our road loop and then coming back in, which coincidentally was exactly a mile. So doing this twice over for the two mile was a really nice way to break it up because it meant that I got to run on the track for a bit and then head out onto the road for just over a K and break up that running and monotony. For the two mile, the first one, I ran 5.49 and 5.51 splits. I've got the K conversions on there on the screen for people that run in Ks. Second two mile was 5.49 and 5.46, just picking it up a little bit. And then the last one mile alone was 5.30, which is pretty much where I wanted it to be. The pace suggestions were between 5.40 and 5.50 for the two mile reps, and then between 5.30 and 5.40 for the one mile. Two minutes of super easy running in between that. I'm literally jogging at about 11 minute miling, just making sure that I'm keeping my legs moving. And today wasn't about setting the world on fire or setting any records. It's a pretty bread and butter tempo zone session that I just needed to tick off after a couple of bumpy weeks. Getting a session done on my own and winning the day was what it was all about. And hey, we did it. Awesome, eh? Done. Someone is at your front door 37 minutes ago. How was that? That was alright. It was alright. No? Not amazing. Not disgusting. Just just there. Which is a very good place to be. Just being an average day. Ticking boxes. We're in that base building phase at the moment. So yeah, got it done. Didn't need to hurdle any dogs, which is a good a good sign. And didn't need to lie on the floor afterwards. So yeah, now we're gonna get some munch. Munch, munch. It's been a productive morning. Not only did I get the goods, chicken, eggs, candles, goose, mushrooms, bagels, but also filmed a reel for Instagram. The life of a content creator. Roasted cat. Oh, roasted cat. You want the chicken, don't you? You want the chicken, please. Oh, my baby boy. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's a very happy cat. I'll tell you a story. I went to the track today and I did a session. And then we went to the supermarket and we bought the chicken. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go have a shower. Mm -hmm. And you're going to make lunch for once. Shut up. You wearing? Um, I'm just borrowing your sliders because I can't find mine. Oh no, the white bread police might come and get me. Well, we should probably lock the doors. Yeah, man, I'm so scared. Ha! You've had lunch after your big session this morning. Mm. What does a pro athlete do with her uh, her time after training? Well, if she was a pro athlete, nothing. <laughs> if I was, you know, if I was fortunate enough to make enough money by just being so fast, I would just be here recovering right now, which I am sort of doing. I'm putting my feet up, but I am coaching my athletes. So um, this is confidential. Sorry. Jeez, Elliot doesn't want you to know his secrets, all right? Okay. So this is a master plan we have here. I have my 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 twenty five uh, little minions. <laughs> I'm joking. They're not minions. Um, I have plans to write. Yeah, got people training for five k's, ten k's, marathons. Serious business. And I have to come up with the master plans. And I've got emails to respond to. You know, I'm a busy gal. Busy girl. So, leave me alone, I'm trying to work. Should I pretend that you didn't ask me to ask you what you're doing? So, Daniel, what are you up to? Well, some of you might recognize this man. <gasps> I love editing for Kofuzi. Wow, are you an editor? Oh my gosh. Much, much, much later. You're right there. <laughs> yeah. 
So when people think the life of a professional athlete is crazy interesting all the time, what have we just been doing? Um, for the last, well, oh my goodness, for the last six hours, I've been either sat on my laptop writing plans, sat in there filming a secret project, on the phone to an athlete for a catch up, or sat at my laptop writing the script for a secret project. And now my brain is frazzled. Well, it's not as frazzled as it was yesterday. When we had a two hour cat psychology call, don't even ask, followed by literally, as soon as I got off that call, a one hour human psychology call when I had my first catch up in ages with my sports psychologist. So you had three hours of psychology. Three hours of psychology, two hours of which was talking about litter trays and cats and their slow blink. Right on cue. Uh, yeah, cat psychologists are expensive. Sorry, cat behaviorists. But thankfully, we have cat insurance to pay for that. So, I'm gonna fix our cats. We just need a bit of um, help, love, and attention. And I'm going delirious. Yeah, let's go have some dinner. What's for dinner? Curry. We had a lovely curry for dinner. Thanks so much, Daniel, for making the best homemade curries around. And then well, it looks like we went furniture shopping, but actually this is the next day because we were super tired and just forgot about filming and the fact that we were making a video. So here's a little excerpt from the next day, which was a little bit more exciting. We also got a new camera, which we were testing out in Manchester for our evening out. And this is the Manchester International Festival You, Me and the Balloons installation by Yayoi Kusama, an amazing Japanese artist. We tried to go and see this a couple of weeks ago and didn't realize that it would be so popular and fully booked. So we got tickets for a midweek showing and it was so cool. She makes all of these inflatable balloon type sculptures that you can walk around. You're instructed not to touch them apart from these cool cloud ones that you get to lay on. And then we went and had a lovely dinner at a Polish restaurant in Deansgate called Polski. Food was great, company was even better. Thanks for watching, love the grind! Yeah.